Hey guys, so I made a five gallon bucket composting toilet to use out in the woods. Um, this is a, a toilet seat lid that fits on a five gallon bucket. Uh, I, I don't know where else to buy them except Amazon. It was 17, 17 bucks. We just had one lying around. I put this window screen mesh uh, in here to separate the feces from this rock down here. There's about three to four inches of, of rock in here and that's for the urine to trickle down that's that's in here to keep some weight on the bucket so it doesn't just tip over in the slightest uh, wind. And then on the back here I've got a grommet elbow. These are uh, three quarter inch fittings and uh, it just drains the urine out because I've noticed a lot of composting uh, toilets. People spend all this money to buy composting toilets and then $400 later you find out that you have to empty the urine every two three days depending on how many people are using it so I don't like the sound of that at all. So also urine's actually quite sterile. Um, I, I did some research and apparently if you mix your urine if you collect it and you mix it one like one cup one to one one cup of water one cup of urine you can dilute it and and use it as a fertilizer it's very rich in nitrogen and phosphorus um, uh, I can't remember which country they did but they did a one-on-one -on -one comparison where they basically sprayed urine on one large plot of grass and then they diluted it and sprayed it on another large pot of, plot of grass and the grass with the diluted one grew extremely well. Um, so one thing I like about or don't like about this toilet is that it's got this big opening here uh, so you're gonna see your, your waste every time you go to the bathroom. I don't really like the idea of that but you know you're out in the woods kinda just deal with it but um, you can also pour some, I think people do cocoa, they do hemp. Um, if you're out in the woods, I think pine needles would probably work fine. Dumping something on top will help cut the, the, um, the smell down and it will make it so it's not so unsightly while it's still drying out. Um, and then eventually when it gets full or fuller, you can dump the feces and compost it. So. I mean, it'll be somewhat composting in here. I was thinking about spray painting the the bucket black, make it hotter. So maybe once you put some composting bacteria in here, and then it'll it'll be kind of like its own composter over time, depending on how often I use it. Um, but it's pretty nice. I mean, you take the urine, you dilute it, you compost the feces, and then you grow all your plants with it. I mean, your food is coming full circle. <laughs> So I think it's pretty exciting. Um, I guess one thing you could also do if you wanted to cut down on smell and you had some sun and a little small solar panel, you could cut a hole in here near the top, an exhaust fan, put an inlet on this other side, cut a hole here, and then cut a hole out here and, and vent the air away from the bucket so it never really smells too much over here. Um, but I wouldn't do that because this is a five gallon bucket it's not the strongest thing um, and you put holes in it you ruin the structural integrity of it so I would just if you're gonna do something like that I would build it out of something stronger maybe a wooden frame or something I don't know anyways uh, that's just uh, how I built my bucket all right bye bye